basically all the analytic features in Tableau can be reached by parameters. And so whether it's SQL queries or calcs or layout or any of these things, they can all be driven by parameters. And so if you can make those parameters interactive, suddenly all those things become interactive too. And so once we kind of looked at that and decided like, hey, this is really an interesting thing, we kind of ran with it and it turned out that, yeah, it actually did sort of deliver on that promise. So that was pretty fun. That was a big point of inspiration too. Hi, my name is Denny Bromley. Um, I've been at Tableau for about six years now. I'm a dev on the interactive analytics group and I've been there pretty much since the beginning because I think it's, it's an awesome place to be and we do lots of really cool stuff. Fun fact about myself is uh, I used to write hip hop for uh, Sports Illustrated for Kids. So that was kind of fun. Clearly straightforward career trajectory into being a software developer. Because parameters underlie like everything in Tableau, right? So you can have, um, you know, they can be included into SQL queries, they can be included into your viz, they can be included into calcs, all of these things. So by making them interactive, um, you're actually able to make all of those things interactive as well. And so once we kind of cracked that nut and started to see um, the power behind it, we really got excited about what we could do. And then that kind of snowballs. These two pieces are just super close to each other in the code. And really you can, you can see the output of one, like these marks that get selected and see the input to the action, which takes marks. And then you're like, wow, I could just glue those two together. And like 50 lines of code later, you got this feature. One of the things that I thought was really cool about parameter actions was that it gave rise to set actions. And set actions actually shipped first because we decided it was actually more powerful because it could, you can do multiple marks and, and it's a little bit more expressive. But what I liked is that the parameter action hackathon had sort of uncovered this, this whole class of actions, which was basically interactive computational analytics, right? So you could change computation, you could change the underlying um, uh, mechanisms of, of your queries and of your calcs all interactively. And so it started with parameter actions, but then it really sort of unfolded um, and the team did this awesome job of developing um, um, set actions and what's interesting is to begin exploring that whole class. I actually took the URL actions where you can put in arbitrary text, right? And I actually hacked that to actually call our internal, our internal mechanisms. And so you, it was actually a, a hacked up version of the URL action and which worked really well and it was fantastic and it was super flexible in the rest of it. But we needed something that was a little bit more robust and um, a little bit more streamlined for the actual product. When you ship a product, there's a lot of fit and finish that has to go into it, a lot of little corner cases that come out. And that's why we have testers and PMs and all these things is to sort of make sure that those things actually result in the, the experience that you see in your head when you're hacking it, but probably doesn't actually exist in the hacked up code. And so at the end of the day, we found a lot of those corner cases and we did a lot of interesting things. And one of the actual really exciting corner cases that came out, which wasn't in the original hackathon, um, was the aggregation, which allowed you to pick multiple marks and aggregate them in some manner, um, and then assign that value into a parameter. And the reason why that's cool is because you can do all kinds of things. You can do summary statistics, you can do analytics, you can do all of these really cool things, again, without running, without writing any code. You just get to use a dropdown. And that was a super powerful feature that rolled out from the team looking at these things um, that wasn't the original hackathon, but really turned out to be one of the, one of the bright spots of the feature.